Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To modify the font settings, within a custom preset of PDF settings, click the fonts category that appears underneath the expanded view of the preset settings within the Adobe PDF settings dialog box. The settings within the fonts category determine which fonts should be embedded within a PDF. You can embed many different types of fonts and subsets of fonts. Fonts that have a license restriction applied will appear within the font listing shown beneath the font source dropdown with a lock icon next to the font name. You can click on one of these fonts if they appear to view the nature of its restriction in the Adobe PDF Options dialog box. Also note that if you attempt to combine PDF files that contain the same font subset, Acrobat will attempt to combine the font subsets. The Embed All Fonts checkbox is always checked to embed all fonts within the document. This is a requirement for PDF and PDX compliance. The Embed OpenType Fonts checkbox, if checked, will let you embed all OpenType fonts used in the file. Note that this option is only available if Acrobat 7 PDF 1.6 or Acrobat 8 PDF 1.7 have been selected from the Compatibility drop-down back in the General category. The Subset Embedded Fonts when percentage of characters used is less than X checkbox, if checked, will embed only a subset of characters within a font if the percentage of characters used in the PDF falls below the threshold percentage you enter into the text box at the right end of this setting. Use the When Embedding Fails drop-down to specify what Acrobat should do when font embedding fails. The choices are Ignore, Warn and Continue, and Cancel Job. In the Embedding section, you can use the Font Source drop-down to select a folder on the computer that contains fonts. The fonts contained within the selected folder are then displayed within the list below the drop-down. To always embed a selected font, you can select a font in this list and then click the Add button to the left of the Always Embed list. You should ensure that the Embed All Fonts checkbox at the top of this category is unchecked to manually embed selected fonts. To never embed selected fonts, select a font from the left list and then click the Add button to the left of the Never Embed list to move it into that list. To manually include a font not listed within a folder by name to either the Always Embed or Never Embed lists, click the Add Name button below the Never Embed list to open the Add Font dialog box. Type the name of the font into the Add the Font field and then choose either the Always Embed list or Never Embed list option button. Then click the Add button within the dialog box to manually add the named font into the selected list. Then click the Done button when you are finished adding named fonts. To remove a font from either the Always Embed or Never Embed lists, click the name of the font to remove to select it. Then click the Remove button below the Never Embed list to remove the font from the selected list. Note that this only removes the font from the selected list and it does not remove it from your system. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp.com forward slash free.